Yo, what's up guys? Welcome to the channel, and today, I'm back on Project Cars 2, once again. So, um, I decided to start a little series. Um, this is kind of an addition to the SRL IMSA series, or it's called LMP2 series now. But what this is, is I'm going to be doing a lap time, uh, as quick as I can, around each circuit that we do in the SRL IMSA series, or LMP2 series now, as it's called, like I said before. Um, but I'm going to be using GTE cars for uh, for this um, for the series in hot lap, um, just to get used to it. So usually there'll be a lap set before the race, but since this series is kind of started a bit late compared to what when the SRL series started, I decided you know what I'll do, play catch up and do each of the tracks in GTE cars now and then. Um, yeah, and just see if I can play catch up really. Uh, this series will include GT3, GT, and LMP2s, um, just just for the facts to you know uh, spice it up, make it different each time. And uh, also, uh, the only cars I've really driven in this game is LMP2s. So um, yeah, I'm. Uh, <laughs> it's going to be quite difficult since I've only really, really driven GT cars once, and that was only for like two minutes, just to have a bit of fun. Um, yeah, it's going to be a bit difficult, but we're going to be using the Ford for this one, uh, GT Ford. So, um, yeah, let's just jump straight into it then. Here we go for the Ford GTE lap at Daytona then. So, we cross the line now to start our lap. Um, so, let's see what we can do. I'm not going to lie, I've done quite a bit of practice around Daytona in the LMP2. As you guys know, I've done, like, I did two days straight practice, basically, over Christmas. Um... And uh, yeah, I know the track very well. I just don't know the track very well with this car. So uh, it's going to be kind of dodgy compared to my LMP2 lap. And uh, it may be just quite a bit off. Well, obviously, because it's a GTE. And uh, also, I'm just not great with the handling of the GTEs at the moment. Hopefully, that can change. But um, yeah, I am, uh, I am liking the GTEs at the moment. Well, I've only done a couple laps practice just before this... Uh, this hot lap really, uh, just because I didn't feel like I was going to be comfortable enough. But then coming towards the bank and then we've had a pretty decent exit out of there. Now we just go full straight. You get as close to the edge as possible. Or we'll try to anyway. Don't go on the, the actual like straight part or else that will completely mess your lap up. And now the chicane. <laughs> God damn, I forgot about the chicane. It's, uh, it's one of the worst things ever in the LMP2. Let's see if the GT is any better. Oh shit! Damn, that did not go good. Alright, so let's try this with more downforce then. Let's see how this goes. So now it's at 2 at 6 instead of 0 2. So we should be able to brake later and get on the acceleration a bit earlier. Um, and what I've found with the attempts that I've tried with this car is that it loves to lock up. So you need to be very careful on the brakes. Um, I have got ABS on. So, um, yeah, I'm surprised that it is actually locking up as much as it is. Um, it doesn't do it in the LMP2, but like I said, the LMP2s are much more suited to this track, and I'm much more suited to this track than, uh, than the GTEs, really. So, um, yeah, come around there, flat out, break about halfway through the cones. And there we go, there's a lock up. That was not ideal for me. But we got a really good exit though, so this is a pretty decent lap at the moment. I don't think I've made a mistake so far, so this will be good. Come around here, get an acceleration about halfway through the corner. You may slide just a little bit wide, but you know that's just tiniest a bit of time you could lose, or it could gain you time actually, if anything, because um, you're more uh, you're more getting more speed out the corner. So uh, a bit late going down to the tight part, but we are getting quite a bit nice speed down here. I can't see what speed we're getting. We're getting 163. 165, here we go, but now let's get ready for the chicane. So I'll break about now. Break, break, break. Just take it nice and slowly. Because remember, the downforce is still pretty bad in these GT cars compared to LMP cars. And that was so much better. I feel like I took it at a pretty decent speed, but without spinning it. So I'm happy with that. Now take it nice and tight to the edge of the track, like I said before. Now this lap time is not going to be the best, like I said. But um, I think my setup definitely helped me a lot more with this lap. And uh, I think it went alright. It was clean. So I'm happy about that. But we come across the line now. And we get a 145.6. So that's not bad. That's not bad. Um, we are massively off the world record. But like I said, I ain't any world record 
holder or anything, I ain't gonna be that quick. So um, yeah, but a pretty decent lap for Daytona. Right, okay, so I'm just gonna see this lap again from a replay camera. So yeah, into turn one, we broke really nicely. Uh, no lock up, which was nice. Um, coming out of turn one, I think we got quite a bit of speed. I kind of got used to turn one after a while because it took me far, about five or six attempts to try and get this lap. Um, so yeah, coming around here, it was really nice. I'm quite happy that I managed to actually uh, get a decent lap time finally. I mean, it wasn't nowhere near world record, like I said, yeah, but it's something. It's something still better than some people and better than my previous attempts that I tried. Uh, so coming down here, we had a bit of a lock up there, which wasn't ideal. Um, but you know what, that's just a tiny bit of time, everyone locks up. Um, but we carried on pushing and to one of the part of the track where I don't really like, but I somehow managed to take it pretty nicely, nearly tapping the apex on the exit there. So I feel like that was probably the best way to take that corner. But coming to the bank and then it's just basically just get as close to the edge of the track as possible, which I did. As you can see, it was perfect. Um, no mistakes really through there, just... Uh, nice and steady uh, now coming up to the mini straight just before the chicane now this is the part where i really hate the chicane now i want to see how i take this in the replay camera because from on board it looked pretty quick so through the replay as well yeah it looks fairly decent i'm not gonna lie it looked clean it looked quick um probably could have been a hell of a lot better but i was just taking it slower slower as i'm not suited to the gt cars like i am with the lmp cars but um, yeah, it went really good. Coming up to the start finish line, then um, to get as much speed as possible, about 170 miles per hour possibly down the straight uh, with my setup anyway. And um, then I come across the line, I finished my lap. Um, yeah, about 145. So that was a really good lap.